there friends welcome back to another video today we're doing ufli foundations lesson 111 where we'll be looking at the ar and or spelling patterns when they say er in the past we've learned about the r controlled vowel pattern a r and we learned that it says r as in arm a r arm r but today we're going to be looking at situations in which that same AR spelling pattern can say er as in earth. We see an example of this in the word dollar. It ends with the AR spelling pattern, but instead of saying dollar, we pronounce it dollar. The AR is saying er. We see this in two syllable words that end in AR. Like the example we just saw with dollar, the first syllable is doll, the second syllable is lur, but the er sound is being made by the letters ar. We also see this in the word nectar. First syllable is neck, second syllable is ter. They are both two syllable words where the second syllable ends in the letters ar, making the sound er. We can also see this in words like Word, where the AR is contained within that second syllable, but may have letters before or after it. Like in upward, the first syllable is up and the second syllable is word. The AR is contained in the middle between the W and the D, but it's still saying the sound er. Another example is the word lizard, where we see the AR contained within that second syllable, still saying er even though it's followed by the letter D. There's another example of an R-controlled vowel making the sound er when it doesn't typically say that, and that's with the R-controlled vowel pattern O-R. In the past, we've learned about O-R saying or, as in orange. O-R, orange, or. But when O-R follows the letter W, it no longer says or, now it says er. So together, the W and the O-R make the sound were. We see this in words like work, where the OR is contained in the center and a W comes before it. So instead of saying work, we say work. We can also see this occur in two syllable words, just like the AR. We see this in words like doctor. The first syllable is doc, the second syllable is ter. The word ends in OR, but instead of saying OR, we say ER. We see another example of this with the word AUTHOR. Again, it's a two-syllable word ending in the letters OR, but instead of saying OR, they're saying ER. So, we now have several ways to spell the ER pattern. ER is going to be the most common, and previously we've learned about IR and UR, all making the sound ER. But now we know that even OR and AR, which typically have other sounds, can also say ER in the right circumstances. Let's practice some words together. This is the word dollar. The AR in dollar isn't saying its typical sound R, it's saying the sound ER. Go ahead and read the word with me, dollar. We also see this in the word doctor. Doctor ends in the letters O-R, but instead of saying the sound OR, it again says the sound ER. Let's read that word together. Doctor. Now I'll put some words on the screen, and your job is to try to read them before I do. Remember, all of our words today will use the A-R or the O-R spelling patterns, but they won't say their typical sounds. Instead, they'll be saying ER. Let's give it a try. Nectar. Collar, lizard, factor, flavor, tutor, author, visitor, similar. 
take a moment to practice writing some of those words on a whiteboard or a sheet of paper. Remember to mark out the AR and the OR spelling patterns, making the sound er. Let's take a look at this sentence. In the sentence, I see a word that uses the OR spelling pattern. Do you see that word? Good, that's the word doctor. Now let's read the sentence. Who will the doctor help next? Well done, let's read that together. Who will the doctor help next? Very good. In this sentence, I see a word that ends in AR, but the AR isn't saying R, it's saying ER. Do you see that word? Good, it's the word dollar. Now let's read the sentence. Listen to me first. To whom should I give this dollar? Now let's read together. To whom should I give this dollar? Well done. In this sentence, I see two words that demonstrate the skill we're practicing. The first one ends in OR, saying ER, and the second contains the letters AR, also saying ER. Do you see those two words? Good, the first one is actor, and the second is wizard. Listen to me read and follow along. The actor played the role of a powerful wizard. Now let's read together. The actor played the role of a powerful wizard. Well done. Our story today is called A Pet Lizard. In it, we'll be practicing words that contain the AR and OR spelling patterns as they say er. Remember that most of these are two syllable words and that when OR follows a W, it will say were. Listen to me read and then you can practice on your own. A pet lizard. Have you ever considered getting a pet lizard? They may seem like an unusual choice, but they can be lovely pets. Lizards are reptiles. They can be big or small and many different colors. You can create a nice habitat for your lizard to live in. Start with a big cage so your lizard has room to roam. You will also need some food for your lizard. Lizards eat bugs and worms and plants. Some even like to eat flowers. Perhaps they like the flavor of the nectar inside the flowers. Unlike dogs and cats, lizards do not need collars and do not need to be taken on walks. Just remember, if they ever get sick, take them to a doctor who can help them get better. So, what do you think? Would you want to have a pet lizard? Well done today, my friends. We practiced the AR and OR spelling patterns as they say er. Now's an opportunity for you to practice reading on your own. Well done.